Revelation chapter 4. After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardius stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne, in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white robes. And they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of Elohim. Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures, full of eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second living creature like a calf, the third living creature had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within. And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Yahuwah El Shaddai, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever. Revelation 4, 6. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne, were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Now remember, prior to this, the last video, and I think in chapter 2 or whatever, remember the throne, we're talking about the sun, alright? And the light, the white light that the, uh, the Bible writers was trying to fandangle to make it sound abstract is actually light from the sun so this here is very interesting that this quote is saying that before the throne was a sea of glass like unto crystal but we know that these are again these are abstract writings meant to make your mind try to make something like this make sense and only in the spirit world or the dream world where you see abstract things in your dreams all the time. I had many dreams over my life where I couldn't explain what I saw. And it looked like you just in some weird dimension. But the spirit world is very abstract and it's opposite to the human world. So sometimes you may see things in this world that's in the spirit world. Then there are things in the spirit world where you visit places or you see things that's like I couldn't at nowhere in my dream be able to describe to you the images so in this case they're trying to do the same thing but see again noon clarifies what this is remember the, the guy the the, the, uh, the so-called writers are saying that that john is looking into he's in the spirit world but, but again, once again, watch how Noon clarifies what this is because you're talking about spirituality. And remember, spirit and ether are two different words, but they have the same thing because a spirit is gas or ether. And ether is a gas or spirit because in Noon, ether or spirit are conscious gases. All right? So we're going to have to go to Noon um, for this one. All right? So you go to Noon. Right? It said, listen to reason. All spirit beings, are ether forces and powers of various degrees. That is, some spirit beings are deader than others, and some are composed of more reasonability than others. The deader a spirit being is, the less is its reasonability. Natural ether is natural electricity gas. Who exists in circle degrees. See, watch this. Physical light, which is a form of ether, bends around the corner and also shines through transparent material like glass 
because it is exploding high speed magic nukes melting down into ethereal gas energy called spirit. Of course, gas emanates in all directions when free. So light being ether gas emanates in all directions, even around the corner. Ether gas energy spirit can be conscious or non-conscious, harmful or helpful, depending on the source and purpose. And the source can be natural or artificial. All active energies in nature or newts of matter melting down in accord or condition. Let it be remembered always. Let it be known. Uh, introduction to the Nature Nature Book 1. Uh, page 73. So once again, when you go in and look at the quotes before this particular quote, it's talking about it was around the throne, 24 elders with crowns, and it was lightning. Again, we know there's no way human beings can sit around lightning and not be harmed or killed. Number one, it's no one is impossible in the first place. But what is true is that the sun just like all suns can create lightning and I put this back about two videos ago and I read where the sun can create lightning on planet earth so that is what they're talking about that's why one of the symbols for the sun in uh, I think it was Greece for Zeus was what? a lightning bolt because Zeus is a sun and Zeus is Jupiter. Okay? That's who's called Ra Amun Ra, but this one of the symbols of Auntie Jutah is the bolt, lightning bolt. But the sun does create lightning storms on it. I did that in the books of Jutah. If you go back where it talks about lightning storms is on Jupiter and Saturn. Alright, so you're talking about a sea of glass, it just means that they're seeing gas or light flowing through space because you can see in space even though it's transparent between earth and past the uh, the atmosphere you can see out in the space and light goes through all types of material just like spirit beings they show you all the time in movies of spirits which are forms of light right they could pass through walls, human beings, all of that. So here we're talking about the vision that John was seeing was actually just looking at the sun and it's using his spiritual eye. And he was able to see the sun. The same way when people have near-death experiences and they say, I've seen a white light and I've proven to you that scientists tell you that the sun light outside of the planet Earth is white. So that means, so even if a person that say clinically dies for a minute or so, and when that person is in, in a coma or in some type of death state, as they call it, near death experience, NDE, they still see what the white light. That's how powerful the sun is, that the sun's light penetrates through into the spirit world. Because that's where you are. You don't die and go somewhere else. You actually... Your, your, you now your soul is being disconnected from your consciousness in the 3D on the physical realm and you are now seeing what is already there naturally you see so when you the person is in their spiritual state you see that the light is white because that's the sunlight the sun produces ether the sun produces the spirit world. And the spirit world is the upper atmosphere. So sometimes you may see something positive. Then on the, another side of it, you may see things that will scare you to death or scare you back to life. But all of this is talking about the sun at this point. Alright? So let's continue. The throne is the third zodiac house. The beasts are the oils, planets, and the eyes are the brain nukes. Now, this is where they're going to start. They, they're playing games. See, they're saying four beasts, but it's not. It's seven. But they're only naming four to throw you off. Remember, anything dealing with sevens in the book of Revelation are the, the planets that came together with the sun February 5th, 1962. 
There's no mystery to that. It doesn't mean completion. That is not true. In reality, is those planets that came together February 5th, 1962, Grand, Conjun Grand Conjunction. Now watch how this is all in the Zodiac. Because it's talking about his four um, beasts around the throne. Now watch. Listen to reason. Brain loops create brain. And brain creates reason. Intelligent mind and reason grows bodies for existence in brains. And we call them universes, stars, also planets, and satellites, vegetation, peoples, animals, birds, bees, butterflies, etc. These are the brain new gods that did all of this. Religion, once again, they combine all of the brain newts, which are different forms of matter and degrees of power, put them into one. And then they'll say, yeah, God created the birds. And, and not no, it's not no one God who will sit here and really think about creating all these little minute things. But different variations and degrees of brain new gods who are over certain uh, specifics can do that. So you have some brain loops that are only responsible for lions. And, 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 and the offspring of those lions. At the original lions. Then you got brain loops that will come in that will mutate those original lions into what we see today. Same thing with all these other uh, mammals and things that existed way back since the dinosaur times. They were manipulated and mutated by gamma radiation. So you have different brain new gods who did all of the, the variations of creating things in existence. Not no one God. They combined all of these gods into one and proceeded to fool people. Each brain new is the same in composition and structure everywhere and brain newts are in what? Matter everywhere but can neither be seen with the naked eye nor with a microscope. However, we know that they exist because we can hear with them, taste with them, smell with them, feel with them, dress with them, and see them grow persons, also things by way of brain and reason. But the writer should continue with personification of the formulas, numerical. Now this is the brain nukes and formulas. Formula 2 through 4, which is fire and water. Brain nukes are behind that. Parts, person, liver, and um, numerical number 13 formula for 1 and 2, which is what water, ground, and fire. Brain nukes are responsible for that. Parts, person, glands, liver, and glands, creation of the brain new gods, Gandu, and his concert goddess Ganda. Ganda, who personified themselves at the source of the Nile River in the great land called Africa, and they were the Zeo Pygmy race. The writer chose formulas 2 through 4 and 4, 1, and 2 because the liver is on the right side and the other glands are located in various parts of the body like the formulas are on different parts of the circle. It is correct information that brain newts in the form, see, in the form of brains, are the physical creator, while reason is the spirit creator. Not spirit in individual sense, but in general sense. Let it be remembered so. And it just means about spirit. We're talking about gases. Those reason creates gases, and the universe is full of gases. Go on Google and type in gases, in the universe or just type in space and you're going to see all types of gases in the darkness different type of colors shaped like horses dna strands faces a man who look like he got dreadlocks all of that stuff is what reason created listen to reason like each other it is fact that each individual brand new is diverse meaning together with others it is capable of producing look various formulas various parts and various forms of living beings each individual brain loop is a magic magnetic acid particle of matter whose composition possesses the ability to create photo image mental light forms of creatures and creature parts each individual brain loop also possesses the 18 basic formulas see pages 88 again who have many other lesser formulas branches and extensions when the conditions in matter are rightful origin of a being by their will or some other circumstance by laws of nature brain loops magically and magnetically come together and begin to form a brain 
who in turn produces reason, and by reason the brain loops God's call Nubuhu, the God of utterance, in the formless brain utters, let us make whoever or whatever the being will be. On this commitment and request, the God for outline images called Soku flashes a mental image in surrounding matter of what the being will look like. Let it be remember always and let it be known. Introduction to the Nature of Nature, books 2, pages 92 to 93. Revelation 4, 7. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face of a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Now here is where you see the Zodiac references, but again, the Bible editors wanted to create all types of mis misinterpretation around it, but we know that the Zodiac is being used by all nations on the planet. And so they can't fool people that's into astrology, but they can fool people who are told to leave astrology alone, and that is the devil. And as long as they believe that, they'll never be to see that astrology will answer what these so-called mysterious things, these are not symbolic of, of something else. These are actually the symbols in the Zodiac. Look, the line is Leo, zodiac sign, and the zodiac sign, the noon, is the heart. That's the original um, form of the Leo sign. It's the heart. The ruling planet is the sun, known as Repo and Noon. See? You got the lion. The man is the Aquarius zodiac sign. It's the zodiac. It's the intestines. Uranus, Serana is the ruling planet. See that? Now we, we down here. See, that's the man, Aquarius. All right, now I said the calf is the Taurus zodiac sign. In the zodiac sign, in noon, it's the skeleton. The ruling planet is Venus. See? The eagle is another form of the Scorpio zodiac sign. The ruling planet is Mars. See? Now let's go into this here. Three stages of Scorpio. You have the scorpion, the eagle, and the phoenix. These are other symbols of the scorpion. So, but they use the eagle... Because if they was used any of the other symbols, it, it would have told the people who was aware of the zodiac in their time would have figured that out. So now you got Scorpios ruled by the planet Pluto and is the eighth sign in the zodiac. Scorpio is represented by multiple symbols. The most potent symbols that stand out are the scorpion, the eagle, and the phoenix. These three symbols or totems represent the stages of transformation Scorpio undergoes during the spiritual journey. Through peace of mind, we reach spiritual enlightenment. However, to induce the calm it takes to reach higher levels of awareness, Scorpio must have command of their emotions. So once again, if you're into uh, astrology and you do a little research, you'll find that these are the other symbols that was representing Scorpio. So once again, you have to ask yourself, why is the Bible utilizing Zodiac signs in his teachings. But we'll leave that for another time. The second stage, the ego. The ego is the second stage of transformation and is considered a symbol of courage and power. The ego flies freely, aware of its surroundings and influence. The scorpion has reached a state of maturity and is in a state where they rely heavily on intuition and wisdom to solve personal problems and assist the ills of others. Where the scorpion dealt mostly with the physical aspect of life. The ego is concerned with perception. With the physical aspect. Okay, the ego is concerned with perception, philosophy, and wisdom. Their keen sense of observation infused with their own, with their powerful intuition allows them to discern an individual rather quickly and positively or negatively influence them with their persona. However, the ego still struggles with balancing the power of insight. Does the ego choose to inform itself of the whole? Again, the ego and the Scorpio, all these are different symbols. And also the Aquarius symbol, which is dealing with Jupiter or Jutar, one of her symbols of Zeus is the ego. All right? Let's continue. The Bible rewriters left out the other three beasts Zodiac constellation, which are represented by the orbs of planets. They left our Aries, right? A constellation that ran rule of Mars. Remember, it's seven orbs 
that lined up on February 5th, 1962. And these are the other three that they left out, which is Mars. All right. Also, Capricorn constellation, the seagull ruler, Saturn was there. So you got four beasts. This make five. This make six. And Sagittarius with the seventh one, the archer. See? Sagittarius constellation, archer, ruler of what? Mercury. And also, Sagittarius is also represented by the planet Jupiter. All right? So, these are the seven. The reason the word beast was being deceptively used was due to the fact that the word zodiac means circle of animals. Zodiac, old French. Zodiac, zodiacque, from Latin, zodiacus. Zodiac, from Greek, zodiacos. Zodiac, meaning circle. Literally, circle of little animals. From Zodion, diminutive of Zoion, animal. See? From uh, post Indo European root, Gwe, to live. Let us read what Afro Unu, under the pen name Amenubar Rakapata, said about the Zodiac. Listen to reason. So, existing during the cycle of death, the bottom half of the smack circle of order means whichever person, group of persons, nations, or persons or race of persons, the head of the spirit world decides to select and support. That is, give the ruling and controlling spirit power to mentally, materially, and spiritually. It's called the beast for several reasons. One, we all live in the world of animals. The zodiac, the bottom half of the circle of order, so an animal rules animals, and a beast naturally so rules beasts. The beast, the ruler, is called a number 666, he, she, or they get their ruling powers from the ne negative 666 cycle. Forces of nature controlling the bottom half of the smart circle of order. Which is gamma radiation, the color green, the Z. He, she, or they who get their ruling powers from the negative 666 cycle of nature are likely to rule like a beast. Unjustly, unreasonably, and selfishly to other than their own kind and he or she or they who get ruling powers from the negative are apt to control with an iron hand and deal with others dev deviously, devilishly, and evilly and unjustly and unequally. The number this writer represents is 999 and the positive who is Nupu, the powers and forces of almighty nature who resurrect the mental dead and give them true guidance, including the negative 666 force of nature, nature, flesh, and spirit. Let it be remembered always, let it be known. Introduct to the Nature Nature Book 1, page 162. Decoding 666, the number of the beast. Mankind and all other animals can exist, excuse me, can exercise the first six senses, but only Tarkin, which is the black African race, is capable of experiencing nine reasons. The seventh sense. Mankind has the capability to do heavy thinking, benign reasoning is above the level of mankind's mentality, and this is why mankind admires and worships all intelligent levels, seven and above. Okay? Mankind intelligence stops at six. Because of the mentality of the animal world ranges from zero to six. Mankind is the head and king of the animal world. The animal world is the zodiac in flesh and blood. The word zodiac means existence and unity of animals. Nine ball count one, number, number 16, 1971 AD. Revelation chapter 8. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. All right, so once again... They're talking about something is coming. So this cannot be what people have been told that God is. Because if God is omni, omnipresent, that means everywhere at the same time, God cannot come from anywhere. See? So something that wasn't here is coming. You see? Because you can't say Jesus is God and Jesus cannot be present everywhere because they said Jesus went to heaven. So therefore, Jesus is not here. But a 
again, this is because religion and the spirits that rule with religion causes its adherents to not be able to have critical reasoning. So remember, mankind thinks that black African race with kiki hair, we reason things out. They think they're linear. That's another reason why their hair just goes in one direction. Our hair kinks, coils, and have the numbers 9 through 0 in it. So we have basically 9 levels a way to figure out something. Zero through nine, but that's starting from the end to the beginning. So nine to zero. So we can reason from nine to figure out problems to eight to seven to six to five to four to three. Mankind races can't do that. They only can look at things in a linear fashion. Left to right, up, down, parallel. They do not and have not the capability to reason equal distantly speaking let's move on explanation the four beasts are spoken before were the constellations however they are speaking about the orbs planets that were surrounding him the sun who is Nupu now either energies inside with six wings the six wings are speaking about the planets that surrounded the sun in February 5th, 1962, it was four orbs on one side of the sun and two orbs behind the sun, totaling six wings or orbs in all. Here's an article about February 5th, 1962. And it says, and I quote, During a solar eclipse, an extremely r rare grand conjunction of the classical planets occurred for the first time since 1821. It included all five of the naked eye planets plus the sun and moon, all of them within 16 degrees of one another on the elliptic. Saturn, Saturn, Jupiter, Jupiter, Mars, Martia, Venus, Venus were on one side of the sun while Mercury, Mary, and Earth, Gertha, were on the opposite side. When the moon Sipu crossed between the Earth and the sun, the eclipse was visible over India where predictions of the world's end had been made. And that is why it says that the moon cycle was officially over when the moon came across in that eclipse. That means that now everything is starting to change from this point on. Okay? And this is also one of the reasons why the name of the books that Afrohuna wrote is called Moon Set and What Sunrise Means. The moon cycle has set. It's going down in sunrise meaning the sun cycle is coming in and now it's time for darker peoples to come up out of the uh, low down degradation we in a suffer through evolution and also for the last past 6,000 years okay listen to sound right causing the reason in noon science, spirit beings and the orbs and planets are compared to one another. So you can see the Bible rewriters had knowledge of this. So they were able to craft a lesser version of the facts of the heavenly bodies. Here's the numerical proof. Alright, so we got here six wings come out to 47. Look, six orbs, 47. Both reverse full reduction. So this is just some of the things you have to learn how to use to come to certain things that are right and exact. See, dig the orbs again. These are the seven that was in what? Aquarius. That's why I was saying up here that one of the, the, the four living creatures was the was the face of a man. And the uh all of this took place when look when I when I make it bigger. See, this is February fifth, nineteen sixty seven, and look, this is what? Aquarius. This is why they had the song We Are in the Age of the Aquarius. And that was the orbs all coming together. They were the we that helped produce that song. And that was what was being said when the uh that group put that sound that song out. This is the age of Aquarius. And look, it's an Aquarius symbol over each orb. See? Aquarius. Aquarius for Saturn. The sun Aquarius, the moon was in Aquarius, um, Mercury was in Aquarius, um, I think this is, uh, Venus is in Aquarius, North Node was in Aquarius, and Jupiter 
was in Aquarius. So this is the age of the Aquarius was talking about the February 5th, 1962 Grand Conjunction. See, just so y'all can see that all of them was in the Aquarius, the Bible was correct. Because they was looking at it from an astrological sense. You see? So from astrological, all of them was in the was in the face, was one of the beasts was was a was a, a man when that was again Aquarius. February 5th, 1962 AD, Grand Conjunction. Listen to reason. The original flesh and blood people, the original gods and goddesses of flesh and blood on planet Earth during the top half of the smack circle of order came from the original womb, the source of the nine, that is, the nine river in Africa of Mother Goddess Earth, Gia, Gaia, and Gaia, and they were born from eggs with shells, and they were amphibious, able to live in water and on land, plus able to concentrate, sun energize, and ray beam sunbeam to any place they wanted to go by help of spirit beings and also the laws of nature and space matter and time. Spirit beings spirit gods and goddesses are visible during the top half of the smack circle of order see figure 5 and part 2 of this book and they go hand in hand united with the flesh and blood gods and goddesses of the universe. Spirit beings do not become invisible until point 6 west turning counter Clockwise on a circle of order. See figure six and part two of this volume. All gods and goddesses, such as the sun, earth, and moon, are bird like by nature in the sense that they are in flight or in the air at all times. It is a matter of fact that spirit beings are bird like and air like, and that the universe or world soul is all life like energies, including all spirit beings. And the universe at any given time and it's the order of the universe and creator and control of the universe together with the laws and cycles of nature let it be remember always and let it be known introduction to the nature of nature book 1 page 197 revelation 4 and 9 and when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever once again this is the zodiac Houses, because there's no beast in space giving praise to something. You can you understand? Oxygen is one of the main things you would need, and something physical to stand on. Because to give praise and honor and falling down and worship, that means it has to be some type of structure for some of these these entities to be standing on to be performing these actions. Explanation. The entire body of the universe is celebrating Nupu here to raise up the smart circle of existence upward for the, the better after Armageddon when the cataclysm has passed, February 5th, 2025. Listen to reason. Adhere to and propagate the positive ones of the opposites of absolute nature for the road to heaven or earth. The same way each time their conditions are the same. One of the purposes of the positive signs noon is to distinguish the positive excuse me, of nature from the negative of the same by defining and identifying them plus by explaining the opposite of almighty nature for better and understanding of life and death. Understand and adhere to Nupu and Noon, the positive opposites, and be an elite of almighty nature. An elite is a person who is nature knowledge and has been selected to survive Armageddon. The War for Justice, remember. Introduction to the Nature Nature, Book 2, page 179. Following verses are the religious version of Nupu influence on earth after the cataclysm. Revelation 7, 17. For the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of water, and God shall wipe away all tears from their, from their eyes. So these are the religious version of what we just read right here. All right. So this is the updated version to clarify what Revelation is really trying to say. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Revelation 21.4 And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes 
and there should be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. Side note, death will not disappear for a long time. However, the extreme forms of death the world has known for the last 6,025 years, which will take us up to the year 2025 AD, Gregorian calendar from the time after the cataclysm will decrease and the old ways of evolution will have officially closed out. The natural form of death will resume, not based on what we have seen, heard or experienced at the former level. Let this be known. And what I mean, regular forms of death will come from accidents, uh... Of course, people will still be fighting, but it'll be from a different mind state. Um, people still going to hunt and kill to eat. Uh, of course, you're going to still have negative people that's still going to be doing negative things and things like that. So, But it won't be based upon all of this deception that's going on that we have seen on this side of the smash circle. Okay? With all of the, the sex trafficking and, and people trying to come up with ways to alter the human being in favor of extraterrestrial, all this stuff like that, fighting in any kind of form that is not for the betterment of per persons, places, and things. 